God's presence is not attached to the nation of Israel, that landmass. Rather, it's attached to believers who are everywhere. How does cosmic geography impact geopolitics today? We hear a lot in politics today, you know, that America needs to support Israel because of what the Bible says about Israel. And if America doesn't support Israel, you know, then America is tantamount to, you know, Babylon or whoever have you. So how does cosmic geography impact geopolitics today? Right. Well, I, I think that the thing that trumps that subtext of the question is righteousness. Okay. In other words, when Israel does wrong, I feel completely free to say, you're doing wrong. When Israel does right, we ought to say, good on you. Okay. So in other words, there, there's no sanctified state or, you know, when I say state, I mean condition for any country. Okay, and, and it's, you know, biblical Israel, you know, the, the, the nation of Israel, they don't get a pass on their behavior, their conduct as a national entity because they were elect in the Old Testament. You know how I know that? Because they didn't get a pass in the Old Testament. Okay, God judged them. Pretty obvious. We have this thing called the exile. Okay. That was pretty traumatic. So the, the fact that they were God's chosen does not exempt them from moral, i.e. scriptural evaluation. Okay, That ought to be completely, transparently, biblically obvious. But it often isn't. So if we move it in, into today, you know, what, what I would hope is that, you know, you, you, you take the historical circumstances for what they are. We know what the historical circumstances were, you know, to the rise of Israel as a nation. There were white hats and there were black hats. Okay. That's the way it works in the human world that we can sort of, you know, I guess cynically call anti Eden. <laughs> All right. Yep. This is the world. It is not Eden and it's never going to be Eden despite all the utopian efforts that, you know, politicians, you know, and political theorists, you know, think they can accomplish, it ain't never going to get there because it's filled with people who are unregenerate. <laughs> and even the ones that are regenerate aren't perfect. So, you know, with, with that as, as sort of a, a wider context, I think the, the cosmic geographical stuff of the biblical world works like it did in the Old Testament. It looks like it, it, it works like it did in biblical days. And that is, and I'll, I'll get back to the, to, the, to, the, to the twist here, and that is, you know, the, the difference between sacred space being a country the size of New Jersey in the Old Testament period, and now sacred space is defined as the body of Christ and believers. And that matters. It's not tied to geography anymore. The church, you know, God's presence is not attached to the nation of Israel, okay, that, that land mass. Rather, it's attached to believers who are everywhere. And that's the plan. They're supposed to be everywhere because God wants to reclaim everything. You know, I mean, this, this is a logical plan. 